Kuwa nangali ngome mari Mbandi awa na papa isha pia Zubela, pamina hii Baba hini Adana pia ishi nati bakiroi Kusuma baitu zaba kacha ayo Kusuma tiwa wana siku umutema na indike zubeta Kolia azoli ya biete Mikolo upenja kolia izate Azoli ya te Kamua maki there's a very cynical discourse when you hear people saying it's the end of AIDS, everything is under control, everything is not under control. The more people on treatment than before, there's 9 million people on treatment, but there's many more, the 17 million who should be on treatment today, who are not. It's a hidden emergency. The battle is raging. We, we have managed to put a lot of people on treatment. We've booked some successes in terms of prevention, but we're not there at all. The, at the moment, HIV is still winning. You see it moving into the community. You see people getting infected. You see young children who are infected. You see young people who die. <laughs> Ozaki na bien nandenge azala ki bien akoli pe bien akukisi deza ali abandi malade akufai na mars azala ki na 4 ans et demi What you see is the number of graves that is increasing In places with very remote access, you see people coming in very late, and then you see them dying. Bicho la kaje mama tiri rimu no futa sena na ki kicho le mosabu twenty kio kapagi twenty one bana baka ba 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 baka ako hana si kutla belu abu ne ha na kwenye bango sariti. Over here in the mountains, the health centers are so scattered that it means women have to walk many, many hours. Sometimes they have to sleep overnight before they can reach a nurse when they are lucky, a doctor. It means that uh, several women will have a poor adherence to their treatment. Some are not coming. And we can see in the clinics that they were out of pills for a long time. When a pregnant woman doesn't take her treatment correctly, it increases the risk for her to transmit the virus to her child. To herself, it means that her treatment will not work properly. And so even if she continues taking the pills, she will get sick. When an HIV patient doesn't take treatment, or they're resistant to treatment, they die. Okay. So, this is yours. Over here, women are dying um, much more than anywhere else in the world during their pregnancy or just afterwards. HIV is the main cause of death of young women, of women and sexual reproductive age. That is the case for Lesotho, that is the case in the world at the moment. These deaths are completely avoidable. They don't happen where women are tested and started on treatment in time. We came across um, a family in need with a girl who is HIV positive. Her mother died uh, not so long ago. She's sick. Uh, we need to see if she needs uh, antiretroviral treatment. HIV positive. Pregnant women and mothers have a high risk, around 30%, of infecting their children. That is totally preventable. If, the, if that woman is on antiretroviral therapy, she will not, or almost not, infect her child. 
an HFV infected child means either he's going to die before the age of one if he's not diagnosed in time, or we diagnose him in time, and then he will have to take antiretroviral therapy for the rest of his life. We have specific programs working with children trying to help parents because parents are afraid to tell their children they're HIV positive. A child that learns that he's HIV positive by himself almost always gets very angry with the people that lied to him during all these years and very often they stop treatment or they start taking treatment erratically which then leads to failure of treatment, to drug resistance or to illness and deaths amongst uh, young adolescents. <laughs> That girl is asking for drugs that are easy to take. At the moment, we don't have them. We know we're near. There's a need for investment and research, but the pharmaceutical industry has shown little interest because this is for poor countries and children in poor countries are a completely neglected population. For adults, we are there. We have one tablet once a day where you have three drugs in one tablet. It's called fixed dose combination. Combo Nangai, Mama Claudine Motosia, Nazali Vev, Yabana Sis, Azunga Namaladiana, and the Bandico Zobakis, Nazozobakis of Philly. May come again a Mama Moko, Nakomiko Futa Sang Dola. A lot of town a cutty treatment. Na sala ki reshit. Bon, pona lelo na zwa kali susu kisite. Na koma kusenga na baninga. Oyo baza na mwaya ba somba kwa trois boîtes, deux boîtes. Pour le moment na zana quatre comprimés. Nzo sala na deux jours. Na koko ya kali reshit. Na zwa su na kuzama mabe na ubela. Na kontinua kwa kusenga. Pona zana mbongote. Koko koko. Ngai Claudine. Ah, moi, je suis un peu de temps. 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 C'est une sorte de sélection naturelle pour les personnes qui sont démunies et qui se voient annoncer les diagnostics VIH. C'est vraiment comme une sentence de mort. La moitié des patients vont tout simplement laisser tomber les bras et attendre la mort. Ce que nous voyons chaque jour dans les centres est les visages humains des personnes qui arrivent tardivement, qui n'ont pas accès au traitement. Les patients sont vraiment en mauvais état général avec beaucoup d'infections. Il y a un patient sur quatre qu'on ne pourra pas sauver. C'est vraiment difficile pour l'équipe. C'est fini bébé, c'est fini, c'est fini. Beaucoup de personnes continuent à mourir dans nos communautés sans avoir accès au traitement antirétroviral. La maladie au Congo avance plus vite que la réponse organisée. With untreated HIV, you can treat the infections, but you know that's only going to have some mild effect and then people are going to come back. That is what we saw in the 80s in the US and in Europe and in the 90s in South Africa and in Lesotho. In DRC, you still see it today. We know that we have to put many more people on treatment because people on antiretroviral therapy transmit much less, actually have a 96% 
decrease in chance of transmitting HIV. The first hurdle is to test more people. And until now, we waited for people to say, oh, I want to test for HIV today. If you want to test everybody who has HIV, this doesn't work. You need to go towards people, you need to move out of clinics. We are in one of the areas where our community health agents walk long distances to cover the households that are scattered all over the place. It is very much important to have the door-to-door -door counseling and testing because it increases the access and it allows the people to test in the comfort of their own homes. People are really struggling to reach out to the clinics because the clinics are far from their areas. There is a lot of people who are positive, get tested, and now they're not dying. They were happy for the program. Testing for HIV is one way of saving lives because once a person knows that uh, he or she is HIV positive, that is the time when the person takes steps forward to take care of uh, his or her health. We can utilize treatment as prevention. As many people get into treatment, it will reduce the spread of uh, HIV. We are now faced with the difficulty of the health system to adapt. You have stockouts all over the region. People are interrupting treatment. In Southern Africa, the health system suddenly had to take on many, many more patients. They don't have enough staff. Clinics are being totally overburdened. So what do we do to adapt the health system to these challenges? Is to move people out of clinics, allow them to have their treatment in groups in the communities. This is my house. I'm living here with my husband. He is HIV positive. Our clinic is very far from us. The objective of this group is to reduce the stigma in the community and the constraints that they had before. They are here to meet and to select one person who will be going to the clinic for the collection of the drugs. If there was no group, they used to wait long queues. It helping us, saving time, saving money. Is there anyone who's getting ill? We do talk about that. Maybe the cause is that that person has defaulting pills. We do tell them, the more we default the, the pills, you might be dying. The HIV AIDS epidemic is far from over, it's not over at all. On a global level, it is completely unacceptable to see decreasing donor funds, to see less money for a disease that is still infecting 34 million people in the world, that is still causing 2 million deaths every year. Il est vraiment arrivé à un stade très avancé. Et là, à côté de ses infections, il a des problèmes aussi avec son foie. Il reprend de l'appétit, il reprend petit à petit des forces. Et il espère qu'il va pouvoir retrouver sa famille pour s'occuper des, des siens. Sans ses structures, ses patients seraient morts. We have had some victories against HIV. We have not won the battle at all. It's no time to stop, it's time to increase investment, put more people on treatment now so that transmission goes down. And then there is a hope that in a few decades we'll get rid of HIV. It's possible to win that fight.
kisah mana kita semua makas. Semua semua kisah tentang tuan ibu berani. Tahan dah dah orang di sini tu. Entah orang orang di sini mana orang kita kan. It's changed my life very much. I'm feeling better now. That's all I want.